So there you have it. We're cultivating faith. Jesus is going to be the new Lord of your life. He has a new purpose and plan and intention for each one of us. And so first he's going to remove some of the old growth, transform the look and feel of the land that will suit his purpose for you. He will uncover by his Holy Spirit the things that are under the surface, revealing the sin, the rocks, the roots, and the things that hinder, and he'll remove those things. Then he'll add in his Holy Spirit, give that to you. He will transform the composition of your life and you can partner with him in that by adding a daily habit of the word of God and prayer, time with fellow believers, and, and that will restructure life and prepare you for the next season of growth. Then the Holy Spirit does something miraculous. He takes the old and breaks it down and transforms it, converts it into something that will produce new life and nutrients. He will take the sorrows you've experienced and transform them into joy that you can then use to bless others. And then he'll deposit spiritual gifts, the sowing of the, the word of God in your life that you're doing, but also this gift of the Holy Spirit and empowerment by the Holy Spirit through the baptism of the Spirit that now new life and growth begins to happen. And, and you start to see evidence of love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. These things become more and more evident in your life as you're walking this life of faith with him. And, and as the new growth happens, then we have to turn our attention to the tending of our faith to not grow weary in doing good, but we're gonna look and, and we're gonna see how the Holy Spirit is cutting some things out. There's pruning that needs to take place. There's some weeding that we do. And, and we do that through Christian community, through the word and through prayer. And all of that tending finally brings us to the place where harvest happens. And we get to enjoy the fruits of the labor that God has done. He delights in that first. He's glorified when we bear fruit. And then he also uses the fruit of your life to bless others. So go, cultivate your faith today. Allow the Holy Spirit to cultivate your heart for his purpose and be a blessing to the world. Let's pray together, shall we? Lord Jesus, I pray that you would have your way in each and every one of our hearts that you would continue to cultivate this life of faith in us and that you would bring about the fruit that you desire. Lord, help us to submit to your work and the power of your Holy Spirit and that you would make us more and more fruitful, that we would look more like Jesus tomorrow than we do today. Lord, we thank you for the work you're doing. May we be filled with your spirit and with the joy of the Lord as you cultivate us and bring about the fruit of your kingdom. We pray in Jesus' name, amen.